All right, let's get this show on the road. Uh, so today is a very exciting uh, shave, and um, I'm actually very nervous about it for many reasons. Um, first being, I've never used this razor. Uh, the second being, the first time I've ever seen and touched this razor was about an hour ago. Uh, and more importantly, uh, importantly um, this razor was a razor that I thought about for about uh, a little over 10 years. Um, I had always wanted a weight and butcher vintage razor, um, and I always envisioned having uh, it restored and um, having it uh, customized, scale-wise, and adding some really cool uh, rock and roll rivet styling to it. Um, anyways, it's just been like this kind of fantasy dream uh, that I've had for a long time, and I said one day when I invest in an actual uh, vintage razor, uh, this would be what I would want. So I had uh, a very talented man, uh, incredibly talented man. His name is uh, David. Actually, I call him Chef David because he's a chef as well. Uh, he had uh, this blade for sale as a 18, late 1890s, 19th century weight and butcher, 13th, 16th uh, barber notch blade. And I basically asked if he would be willing to customize it, and he did. He did an incredible job. I'm gonna show you guys this blade right now. So, this is G10 scales with about 24 rivets. I'm gonna show you the back as well. It's quite uh, impressive uh, in person. And we're gonna open it up now. Uh, and look how beautiful the stamping is. You can really, really, I'm trying to get a zoom here. You can really see it uh, even from a mile away. It's unbelievable. The restoration job, you can see the honing is just insane. Nice and thick. Um, so I'm, I'm very nervous because I'm not a super, super professional. Uh, I do use straight razors on a daily, but I'm not a super professional. And this is a very serious blade. So I may potentially, on this shave, um, cut myself. And if I do, I will try to continue. Uh, if I cut myself badly out of being nervous, again, this is 10 years in the making. Uh, if I cut myself badly, I might stop. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to explain a little bit about what I am using, using on today's shave. So first and foremost, I took a shower and I use this, um, it's just a detox, uh, facial scrub that I like using before it has a bunch of cool stuff in it. Um, I like it. It's kind of manly in its look and I think it's, it's pretty rad. So I used this right before, uh, I don't like to use any kind of, uh, pre-shave oil. I just feel like, uh, the shaving cream goes on differently. It's not as exciting. Um, I will be using, um, I really love this stuff. I just got it. I've kind of been digging this company for a while and um, the smell of this soap and the quickness of, um, of the, this soap uh, becoming like shavable cream is pretty incredible. So fine in Uh I love this scent. This is our main dude. It's the American blend. It's unbelievably good. Um, I... I'm going to be using, rather than a, a badger brush, which I do have, I'm going to be using the synthetic one. Um, I really like this one. Uh, it is made by Fendri Fendrihan. Uh, I think this thing is beautiful. It's super, super soft. Love it. Uh, and when I am all said and done, if I actually get through the shave happily, uh, Fine Encruncherments makes this aftershave that is fucking awesome. Um, it's called Snake Bite. And it is super menthol-y, super alcohol -y, which I like. I love that like sting um, after a good shave. I think it's really fun. And you feel like all your pores get um, closed up and your skin closes up. So with that, I'm going to start the shave. Again, I'm very nervous. Let's see how it goes. So right now I'm just wetting the brush getting a nice hot 
very damp. I like to keep it damp with this stuff, with this uh, fine accoutrement stuff. We keep it pretty damp, and it's really quick. So, it's already instantly foaming. So I'm just gonna do about like, I don't know, I would say about 30 to 45 seconds, maybe less. Um, and my face did get a little dry, even though I just showered, so I'm gonna probably, you know what, just to make it interesting, I'm not gonna wet my face because that's how good this stuff is. And the brush is pretty wet at this point. So I'm going to, a little bit more. It's nice. Smells so good. It smells like a, just smells like you're in a barber shop. Uh, I've never been around in the 1950s, but like in the 1950s barber shop is what it smells like to me. So now I'm gonna just, I'm gonna stop looking at the camera too because this is my first shave video. And um, you know, it's kind of exciting and like I said, nerve wracking for me. But I just felt like I had to document this first shave with this blade because I think this blade is unbelievable. I'm so happy with it. Um, I waited a couple weeks to get customized after I bought it. So I'm like counting the days and counting the hours. As you can imagine, how us guys get about our toys. Um, this, is a, this has been a toy that I've been waiting on for a long time. So I mean, it's already, I mean, how quick was that? It was really quick. It's already like super velvety, super thick, it's already nice. So I'm just gonna start, look at that. Look at that incredible, I love this stuff. <laughs> I really do love this stuff. Okie dokie. I'll be turning on the water on and off in between just to clean my hands so I'm not so slippery. I have a towel over here. All right, let's get this show on the road. First shave with the 13 16th weight and butcher blade. Wow, this thing is heavy. Uh, it's so cool. It's really heavy. And I'm trying to, as they say, let the blade do the work. And again, I'm not a professional, so like. This is unreal. It feels so good. Effortless. Literally effortless. It's like. It feels like it, it's like, literally like I'm cutting with butter. It's unbelievable. Um, I'm trying to be careful. My chin area is like really difficult for me.
And uh, again, I'm just very nervous because it's really heavy and sharp and different than the blades I've been using. <clears throat> I'm just going to wipe this guy. And I know it's not the, the most beautiful shave job you've ever seen, but uh, I can't explain the nervousness that I have. Um, it's kind of, it, my adrenaline is pumping right now on this shave. It's pretty cool. So always, on my chin on this side, I always kind of switch hands again, which is weird, I know, but um, it's just my chin feels like it's really weird. All right, first pass. Um, not the most beautiful shave job I've ever done, but I know that within a couple shaves, I'll be like much better. I'm gonna lather up again, no cuts at least. Uh, it does feel like you're shaving with a butter knife. It's unbelievable. It's very different than what I'm used to. I've had uh, a couple other vintage razors, but just more like the standard um, size. Not as thick, not as heavy, uh, not as much history, right? So I do feel like shaving the weight, weight and butcher is like a rite of passage type situation. Like you gotta earn your stripes, but I have been shaving many years with the other razors and I've mastered that down with the other ones. Um, it's just like uh, I ride a motorcycle. It's like uh, when you get on a different motorcycle, there's a little bit of a learning curve, so. I'm just going to do two passes today. Uh, I'm not going to go up, um, but I am going to uh, try to get as close as I can. So I'm already getting more confident.
my chin is so hard for me because my chin uh, was opened up like opened up this chin like five times as a kid so there's like major scarring on the bottom so it's just really uneven I'm going across. Wish me luck. done with this other side. That was a little scary. I should have waited to do a video, but I did get the video. I'm gonna clean my face here. My face is insanely smooth. The chin area could be a little bit better. And I promise that next time I shave, I'll be more confident. But I mean, the cheeks are ridiculous. I mean, I don't feel anything, just from two passes. The chin area, and a little bit of the neck area could be a little bit better. But the good news here is I didn't cut myself. And the good news is I was promised a very smooth, buttery, incredible shave. And uh, shaving with one of these things is everything you've heard. They say, don't believe the hype, believe the hype. Here's my snake bite going on. I have a less of a burn than usual because the shave is so smooth. There's no nicks, there's no nothing. Um, very, 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 very pleased. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe off the blade uh, with a little bit of toilet paper here one more time. I was using a towel, a white towel while I was shaving. Try not to get this guy's wet. Um, it's carbon steel, it doesn't like water. So again, this is my dude, my new friend. Um, <laughs> that, what is that Johnny Depp, uh, Sweeney Todd movie? And he goes like, he holds it up and he goes, my friend. That's what I feel like. I feel like I have a new friend. I love this guy. It's incredible. I know this video was long. You don't have to watch it. But uh, again, thank you to David, Chef David. I'm going to put his link in the, de in the description. So uh, if anybody's looking for dope ass work, um, definitely go with David. He's unbelievable. Have a great day and have a great shave.